Entities in the St. Louis region have seen several cyber attacks recently. The latest victim, Metro Transit. Tonight, by state development confirms the attackers have tried to get money from them. First Alert 4's Dion Broxton asking if riders will see an impact from this. Saturday started out rocky for Raven McFadden. Walked outside and waited and waited and waited and waited. She relies on Metro Transit's caller ride to get around St. Louis. She quickly learned that a ride wasn't coming after a phone call. They had a cyber security attack this morning and they're not picking up anybody. Else. Metro Transit sent the following statement to First Alert 4. It was quickly determined that this disruption was the result of a ransomware attack. This threat is an attempt to extort the public's money by targeting our fundamental public infrastructure. How can someone like Metro, um, with the budget that they have and the technology that they have, have something like this happen? Metro Transit isn't the only company with a big budget to experience a cyber attack this year. Hospital Sisters Health System, the entire Southern Illinois University System, Medicaid recipients, the University of Missouri, and the St. Louis County government dealt with similar cyber concerns. Uh, from the best of my knowledge, I, I think it's everywhere. Washington University cybersecurity professor Ning Zhang says cyber attacks are increasing. We're seeing it increasing just because I think the entire society is depending on computer more and more. Metro says transit routes are back to normal and officials are monitoring personal data to see if any information has been compromised. Generally, the way it, it works is there are existing vulnerabilities. Zhang says to prevent attacks, places should keep cybersecurity systems updated and teach employees not to click on suspicious links. Once an attack happens, Zhang says it's important to notify individuals if their private data has been discovered while experts repair the system. Metro Transit said it will do just that in a statement. As for Raven McFadden, she got someone to pick her up Saturday. It took him about an hour, but I was able to get to Forest Park. She, like other riders, are cautious as Metro recovers from this attack. In St. Louis, Dion Broxton, First Alert 4.